Hi, this is Mike Mozart back again, bringing you the coolest products of yesterday and today. And I hope you all enjoyed that review I did of the Garbage Pail Kids. That was my last review. And do you know why I reviewed the Garbage Pail Kids? Because I'm doing another product review of a new product that made me think of something from the Garbage Pail Kids. And this is the card I thought of. Garbage Pail Kids, and this one's called Creamed Keith. The Cabbage Patch Kid, reality. Go, go, Diego, bot bag. Who thought this was a good idea? Maybe they got the idea from Garbage Pail Kids. Not really the place you want to find a product concept. I'll demo it for you, shall I? I'll use it as it was intended. Here's Diego, all inflated. You have to put water or sand in the base. And do you know what you're supposed to do with this? Boom, boom, boom! I'm not kidding. There's the target, his face. Now the people that do these now, they still exist. But let's say even the Spider-Man ones. They put Spider-Man down here at the bottom and they put the logo Spider-Man up here and they're supposed to punch that. Or a lot of times they put a target here or they'll put like a little thing to catch a ball. So you throw a ball, you don't put your character's face right there. Of course, I, I don't know, a lot of you might think it's kind of fun to punch Diego. Maybe you're just all sick of Diego. Maybe the person that approved this was sick of Diego too. It just doesn't make any sense. I can't believe they did something like this. The care, commitment, and quality that we put into all Nick Jr. programming also goes into our products. Lots of care went into this one. So when your kids play along with Nick Jr., they're playing to learn and learning through play. And what are we learning through play here? Beat on your friends and neighbors. Beat on little kids. What a stupid product! They did stupid things like this in the 60s. You know, but it was usually a clown or something. It wasn't a child. See, these Garbage Pail Kids were quite the influence. So what would we call this guy now if we made him into a Garbage Pail Kid? What would Diego's name be? Put that in the comment section down there. I'm really curious. Oh, and put in the comment section, what other type of toys do you think that Diego and Dora should go on to? I mean, if this was approved, there must be other funny things they could go on to that maybe have a little twist to them. My next review is Dora made into a pinata. I'm not kidding. If you liked my review, please give me five stars. Oh, I'd really appreciate those five stars. Oh, and check out my channel, Jeepers Media, that little blue word down there. Oh my gosh, I have over a hundred funny, cool toy reviews, don't I, Dora? <clears throat> and um, don't forget to subscribe to that little yellow subscription button down there because you don't want to miss Dora the Pinata. 